Good morning YouTube, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video, another episode of the Bikini Prep series. If you're new here, my name is Olivia and I am a bikini competitor, posing coach and online coach and it's show day baby! It is finally show day number two, we have just gotten up a while ago, it is 7am, I haven't even stepped on scale yet. I've just been kind of packing away my show bag. That is my bag, got my robe, all my makeup and hair stuff, my heels, my pump up bands, my jewelry, more hair stuff, my nails, my badge number, 425. And then on the other side, got all the food for today, rice cakes, squares bars, salt, water, and there's jam and peanut butter and dark chocolate in there too. And I'm just packing away a handbag that I'll actually be bringing with me with my next meal because I already got a plan for today. So meal number one is just rice cakes, jam, peanut butter and squares bars. So I already made that. 400 mils of water, got some cutlery, my scales, Tupperware, straw off my coffee. And yeah, I got a rough plan of food for today. So it's really simple, rice cakes, jam, peanut butter, squares bars, things like that. The show day specials. Um, so I've just prepped my first one because I'll be eating it right after makeup. So let me give you a little plan of action. Obviously, I will take you along the whole day with me today as much as I can. Obviously, it is show day. And there will be a time where I'm just going to have to get in the zone. But when I am on stage, John over there will take over the camera to show you how I do. I will. If you're wondering what I'm feeling like coming into this show and what are my expectations, feel free to click back a video where I talk you through the whole one day out feels. But for now, I need to check in with my coach. I need to, well, I prepped my meal, so I just need to get a double espresso in because we did cut water last night, obviously. So there is no water to be drank today. Um, so just a double espresso for me. Um, that's pretty much it. Check in, finish packing the bag. Um, and then we're off to make up at 9 o'clock in the morning. Then I have to get that meal in. And then we're actually heading off to the venue just before 12 o'clock. And we're just going to stay at the venue. I'm not backstage till 5pm. But I've got my hair at 12. And I've got my top coat of tan at quarter past 2. So I'll be done with that before 3 p.m. and then I'll have three hours to pretty much just chill. So that's gonna be good. You know, my coach is already gonna be over there because he does have some lads competing in the morning. I am competing with another girl I know. She's actually my posing client. She's in Masters Bikini. So I'm really excited to see how she gets on. But yeah, and that's pretty much it. Very chilled morning, which is unlike any show day. Um, but I am gonna be out very late today. So I did get to sleep in to like half six, which is amazing. I feel so good. I am ready, but I'm also ready to get that coffee in and just step on the scale, see what the 280 grams of carbs yesterday did to me. So yeah, I'm gonna pick up the camera whenever I can today, try to take you through as much as I can and make sure you head over to Instagram. I'll pop the name on the screen where I'll probably be posting a million stories. But for now, I will catch in with you in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. We are packed, we are ready to go, just need to put some clothes on. So we're just going to head off to the shop really quickly, come back, take one more round of visuals because my coach does want to be looking at me every couple of hours. Um, and obviously, as I said, we're still not fully dry, but with the amount of carbs that went in yesterday, the weight holding on, really, really happy. This tie, Those tie-ins are coming. It's, it's going to be an amazing day. I'm very, very excited, but I am anxious, but I am eager to get all those appointments out of the way because they're always a bit of a pain in the ass. But they work out really well my meal timing today, which is good. And obviously it will be a long and chill day. It is going to be a long day, I know that. But I'm very, very excited. And obviously I just want to take you through the whole day with me and just enjoy the ride. So sit back, relax and enjoy. I also painted my toenails and I've just been keeping my feet up. But it's time to get the show on the road. I look absolutely fabulous, but that is show day glam before the glam. Uh, we just made it to the hotel where my makeup is and I don't think I mentioned it to you. I am getting my makeup done with Danielle Spencer, which is somebody I've always wanted to get my makeup done with. I tried last year, but she was all booked out and I was just too late. So we've got Danielle Spencer today, very, very excited. 
I'm planning to go for my usual, my go-to smoky um, rose gold eye and I've got my own lip colour from MAC that you would have seen in my previous videos. Um, yeah, very, very excited, very, very hungry. Another hour before I can get some food in and a touch of water. So I'll show you my first meal before, um, before we head out of here because there's no point in us going back to our hotel anymore. So we're just gonna chill here after makeup for like half an hour. I can get my meal down and then we're gonna head off to my hair appointment, which is at the venue. So then we're just gonna stay at the venue for the rest of the appointment and my coach is gonna be there. So I just sent over another check-in before we left. He's really, really happy. Um, I literally have a vein down my stomach. So things, things are starting to get freaky and those tie-ins. They're coming, they're coming. And I know they're not gonna be fully out from this for this show, but obviously I do have a much bigger show on next week, which I know I still haven't told you what I'm doing, but you're just gonna have to stay tuned for the next vlog to find out where I'm actually competing next week. But trust me, it's going to be the best show. And then obviously we do have British finals in Birmingham in two weeks time. So that's where we really wanna bring the physique alive and it's happening it's definitely happening best i've looked best i've felt on show day apart from being starving um really really zen today really relaxed baby have to say this is like the most chilled out show day show day morning by a long shot yeah I'm so prepared Micah John on the vlog a little later as well, make him give you his thoughts about today and how he thinks I did. And yeah, I will not be taking you backstage with me today. I'm just gonna hand the camera over to John right before I'm about to go on and you can get some actual footage from the stage rather than just from my iPhone. And if I do wanna film backstage, I'll just use my phone and still insert it. So yeah, we're gonna leave it here. We're gonna head into makeup now and I shall catch you after. As you can see, step one of Glam Up. I am really, really happy with the look. John says it's actually his favorite of my stage looks, but keep in mind, we say that every single time because it just gets better and better, but Danielle did not disappoint. I absolutely love it. We used my lip color. I can actually show it to you now. It's my pocket. It is MAC. It's called Mer or Mer. And I got the matching lip liner, so I can just top this up myself, but it is finally time to eat and to drink a little bit of water. So I have my meal already weighed out to make things easier, but it is currently half 10 in the morning. So we actually have nearly an hour before we really have to rush to head off. So plenty of time. So what do we have? We have one gram of salt. We have three rice cakes with 25 grams of jam and 15 grams of peanut butter. So I just weighed it out and, oh, look at that. Jam here and then peanut butter here. If you watch my video yesterday, um, or the vlog I filmed yesterday, I don't know when that's going up and why I don't know when this one's going up. Um, you know I like to eat it separate. Um, and then to top it off, we've got a squares bar. And also, if you know, this is my favorite one. If you've watched the previous video, the cookies and cream, and I'm going to put a little bit of this peanut butter on top of it. So that is the game plan. We also have 400 mils of water to sip between now and 1 p.m. when I'm getting in my next meal. So meals are every three hours today. And we're looking at three meals before stage time, and then obviously some jellies or something when we're pumping up backstage. But I really have to spare this. This is all I get for three hours. So I'm probably just gonna take a sip now or two because I'm really, really thirsty. I haven't drunk anything today apart from two espressos. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this and then we're gonna order an Uber and head to the venue for my hair appointment. I can't wait to show you the hair because we are doing something a little different this year. But yeah, very, very hungry. Gonna get this meal in now and I will catch you at the venue.
So this is the situation right now before we head to tan. So for the first time on stage, I am going curly and I'm just really conscious of those curls getting ruined when I'm going to tan and I wasn't chanting putting this into a cap myself. So the ladies kindly put it into a cap for me. So I'm just waiting for my coach to get out because the men are on right now. And we're gonna do a little check-in just to see what I'm eating, if anything is changing in my meal. And then we're gonna head off to tan. Then I see to pop on my nails and we'll be good to go. There's some money in it. Um, you want to go here? Yeah, go back down there. Because we switched sides from the back. Oh yes, yes. There's another like two inches down going through your glute hands now and instead of dairy. That's what it's about. It's pump up it, pump will be nice when you're pumped in food. We're looking very good, we're looking flat and good. Kind of way, which is good. Well, how are you? How are things good? Oh, yeah. Hello. Once you get fucking sodium, more water in, and fucking carbs, so we're gonna be. So, good to eat my meal. I'll have to look what it is. Probably not. No. Yeah. So we've John, who's four weeks out from the Natural Two Bros show. This is his first ever show. It's gonna be in classic bodybuilding. So let's have a look over. Him. Yeah. So we should glutes, court turn. Oh, exhale hard. You get exhale hard, hard. Court turn. Our front last just for a bit of fun. Legs hard on him. I am not sure how well you can hear me, but officially we are glammed up. Hair is done. It just needs to be kind of brushed through right before we go on stage. I asked them to keep it tight for now. So top coat of tan is on as well. Very dark, but really, really happy with it. And I just stuck my nails on. And we're nearly ready. So it is only 3 p.m. I think right now. Let's see. It's 3 p.m. 30th of September. And yeah, so right now we're just gonna be chilling. I'd say I won't be on stage for another three, three and a half, four hours. Hopefully not four. Um, I guess it's three, three and a half. Um, and yeah, that's so we're just chilling for now. I'm gonna let this tan really sit. Then in about an hour or so, I'm going to pop the bikini on and give you a grand reveal. I'm also waiting because one of my posing clients is coming to the show to watch. So she should be here soon as well. So it'll be really great to meet her in person. Um, I did a little posing check-in with my other client that's competing today as well. So she looks bang on. We'll do another few rounds. I might get her on the vlog as well just to show show you her little routine that we created together um but yeah i don't know what's gonna be happening now i'm gonna go get another double espresso i still have a bit of water to sip on we just got our second meal in which was the exact same as my first and we're just chilling my coach is literally sitting across from me there somewhere on his laptop working as always john is still here with me i haven't i haven't killed him yet but yeah i'm really excited to just get that bikini on i'm starting to get nervous but I have to say, the curls are a look. The curls are a look. I just need to practice a few hair flicks with them because I've always practiced in straight hair. So, yeah, we'll pop the bikini on soon and I'll catch up with you then. <coughs> okay, watch, she, she's just gonna walk up this way. Are doing one of those walkie walks? Yeah, yeah. Huh? And she's just, you're just gonna reveal it all. Like, so I'm like, open it as I turn. Yeah.
Yeah. So, so have them as your home point. So I think this is so yeah. important. Yeah. So just get a meal, find a meal and set it. Perfect. First, jab, jab. Right. So what we can now, do then is twirlies. So the bikini reveal is official. We are going with pink, as you would have seen. We've done our final check-in before we go backstage and we're just getting our final proper meal in. Meal number three, again, three rice cakes, 20 jam, 10 nut butter, and we get another squares bar. And I'll just be sipping on a cup of water before, before stage. So that's probably my last bit of water now. We're gonna pop a few jellies backstage and we'll be ready to rumble. So, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my meal. Have my final espresso as well. And then before we know it, it'll be time to go backstage. And on stage. I'm starting to get a bit nervous. But I could have I couldn't have done more. So now it's about getting in the zone and just enjoying it. I will probably I might see you one more time before I go backstage. And if not, the next footage you'll be seeing will be either some backstage footage because as I said um, I'm handing the camera over to John but I will have my phone with me so I might take a few clips of my phone and if I don't you might not see me till stage time because right now probably filming will be the last thing on my mind so yeah nearly go time sorry it's me again I'm not backstage yet even though I said it would be um John is here with me and I thought I'd get a few words out of him Hello. First of all, you have been the best stage boyfriend today. He's really been helping. It's like routine now. It's routine now. Um, how do you feel about today? I love it. I was saying to Olivia already that like, literally like, excitement pretty much all day. And that has been changed. But how do you feel about me today? As uh, usual. How do you think I'm going to do? Really, really well. Like even from last year, like the 10 kilo difference, it's not just that, it's, it's everything else, it's just the mindset, everything's completely different this year and it makes the world a difference. Like it even actually makes my day a bit easier as well. <laughs> so thanks for looking out for me as well. I'm still enjoying he hits his macros today. You bet I am. And I have been. I've even tracked in my salmon meal didn't go to plan, so. Corn cakes and chicken and peanut butter. And it the worked. bodybuilder style. Um, Slap. So yeah, a few more minutes here and backstage we go. I didn't want to give you too hard of a kick. Just it's in case it bruises. Yeah. Is it? Oh, okay. If I gave you I a little... I don't know that future, so... Yeah. You're gonna kill it. 413, Gina Gova. 417. Oh! Georgia Donoghue, 424, Alicia Blackhurst, 425, Olivia Vita Mosca, 427, Eleanor Lee, 422, Regan. Turn to the back, ladies, in the back, posing, please. Phase four. Oh okay. Yeah. Come on, Olivia! And five to the best guy. Come on, Olivia! Thank you, Olga. Olivia. Next up, four. Take out to, to the back, please, in the back posing. Walk four steps forward, please. Walk.
So 24 and 25 switch, please. So come to the back. Back posing, please. Or is this love that I'm feeling? Turn to the back. And just the winner on our own, please, Dawn O'Sullivan. Hello, 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 YouTube. I've just been sat here for two hours editing the past two vlogs. And I've really, really been putting off coming on here. So, it's time. First of all, Today is, I'm gonna get this steam out of your face. Today is Tuesday, the 2nd of October. And we are two days post show. And I am only filming this now. And I will tell you why in a second. First of all, show day until I got on stage, um, or just after, show day was absolutely amazing i had at the time of my life um it was really really great to be back on the npc stage and just the whole day was absolutely amazing from my boyfriend being with me until the second i stepped on stage pretty much and my coach who literally outdid himself on the day it, it was an amazing amazing day and also the person you saw in my bikini reveal that's emma she made my bikini and she was there on the day for me as well my posing client to make to see me and obviously Dawn, my posing client that competed, won her master's class and her posing was just incredible and it was just so great to share the day with her and be backstage with her and I couldn't ask for more on the day apart from what happened on stage. So let's get into it. No placing for me, not a single medal. But that's not the worst part of it because obviously we go into every show wanting to win, yes, but we don't always win and that is perfectly okay because every show is a learning experience. It is an opportunity to learn and to find out what you need to work on in the future in your off seasons or even from show to show to improve. And that's always my biggest goal is to just bring better and better with every show beat my physique from the previous years, the previous shows, and I I did that. I did that 100%. I told you before, I did this exact show a year ago. I came in 10 kilos leaner this year than I did last year with more muscle mass, and I couldn't have asked for more. So obviously I did two classes. I did junior, and then I did my open class F. So that's my height class. Juniors, let's start with juniors. Juniors was great. There was seven or eight of us on stage. And I'm going to be honest, even as a posing coach, um, my posing let me down a touch in juniors. Um, just in the back pose, um, I didn't arch enough to really show my glute ham um, tie-ins. And they were kind of flicking on and off, so that's one thing. And then with my front pose, and that's something I've actually been trying to fix since I'm back home, is my rib flare. I am showing a little bit too much rib, and that's not what they really want to see in bikini. So I've been working on that and it's improving. So I'll definitely be implementing those changes going into the next show. So that let me down a touch. I think I got fourth place in juniors, um, which obviously is an improvement from last year because I came last. But um, I think I did deserve third. I'm going to be honest. I think I deserve third, not fourth. Maybe if I didn't let those glued ham tie-ins turn off in the back pose, maybe I would have gotten third because I definitely was a bit more conditioned than the girl um, that came before me. So I don't know. 
but open is when it really really went down i really improved my posing between junior and open because i had my coach messaging me about when i was backstage she was like listen olivia we need more of an arch you're flicking um your glued hams on and off um, and just be a bit more upright in your front pose and we did just that and my posing was so so much better in um in open but what they did so if you don't know how um call outs work so you all walk out you do your court turns and routine or whatever and then you get called back and then they called the top five or six and that's what they did and they put me just outside of the center meaning fourth place now keep in mind for open there is top three uh, top five whereas in juniors there was only top three um placings so there was top five in open and they put me there third place then they switched me one down to fourth place which is perfectly fine i was so really really happy keep in mind i came dead last last year i was standing at the end of the second call out line so our goal was first call out and we got it or so we thought i was there dead center well not dead center but fourth place solid solid fourth place they didn't move me from there again as i said they put me in third then moved me to fourth but then they kept me in fourth place then they did the second call outs there's three girls in second call outs and then obviously we stepped off stage and then we were supposed to come back for awards so my coach and i were so so happy he was 100 percent sure we got fourth place and then when we were backstage and we were getting called out for awards so they only called the numbers that did get a placing to go back on stage and my name wasn't called <sighs> yeah so that happened now i know top three were very very strong and i know i had no chance of beating the top three but we were very, very confident that we got fourth place, maybe fifth, but we thought we thought I got fourth. And it turns out I didn't get fourth, I didn't get fifth. Um, so I didn't get a medal, didn't get a placing, and it just felt like a massive stab in the back. Now keep in mind, if they put me at the end of that line on stage, and I would have known then and there that I didn't get into the top five, it would have been fine. You know, I'd be like, okay, we still got work to do, and that's fine. But the fact that they put me there, fourth place, they kept me there. And then my name didn't get called. And I'm not just saying this because I wanted a medal. My coach was very, very confident that I'd be walking out with a medal, especially after seeing me on stage, especially in that open class. After we made those little tweaks from juniors to open, he was convinced. He was 100% sure I'm walking out with a medal and so was I. So then not having your name called, and I truly, truly believe, and I'm not being cocky, that I did look better than some of the girls that did get a medal. As I said, top three were very, very strong, but fourth and fifth, I do feel like I belonged in that top five. So, it's been difficult post-show. I had my little cry. I bawled out crying when I saw my mom. I did go a little bit overboard with food post-show and I feel like crap. I didn't eat any junk food, don't get me wrong. I did not go out for a takeaway. I did not eat any chocolate and cookies and things like that. Um, I literally had a bowl of cream of rice with a load of fruit and then I just kind of started eating rice cakes and chicken and corn cakes and just kind of kept going until there was nothing left. So it's not that I ate bad food, I did eat a bit too much just in general and I'm still feeling a little bloated and obviously the travel and stuff. Weight is pretty much back down, I'm just a kilo above um, my stage weight pretty much, which is good considering. Um, considering the food, the travel, the fatigue, I am very very tired. Um, but it's been just very very difficult emotionally. This is my third NPC show now. And it's my third NPC show walking out without a medal. And those thoughts started creeping in that maybe I'm just not good enough for NPC. Like I've won PCA shows, I've placed in bigger NP uh, PCA shows, but I've never gotten a medal in NPC. And it started getting to my head that maybe I'm just not good enough for NPC. But my coach told me straight away to just snap the hell out of it right now, especially since we're five days out from the next show. He told me to snap right out of those thoughts. And he gave me some examples of really, really good IFBB pros out there like Marnie, 
who is a pausing coach for Rocket that I've actually had a few um, interactions with um, during my prep. It took her 10 years to turn pro. It takes years to turn pro. And the thing is, we've never had a properly structured off, like NPC focused off season. And that is a really big goal of ours for 2024. Like I won't be stepping on stage again after this season until 2025. And that's where we really want to focus on NPC, make the changes needed to be successful in NPC. So like my adductors, my hamstrings, my glued ham tie-ins, glutes in general, dads are good. Uh, so it's mainly the lower body that needs a lot of work. Um, but it just, this show has me absolutely terrified for the next one. The next show is really, really big. And I know I still haven't told you what show I'm doing and that's something you're gonna find out in the next vlog. But it is a really big show and I'm just really, really scared. If I can't place a little regional like that, and it, keep in mind, I say little, it was a very big regional. It's the last regional before the British Championships, which is the pro qualifier in the UK. So a lot of athletes were kind of doing the show last minute to be able to compete at it. No, I am not doing that show. So it was a big show and the standard was very, very high, but I just, I just thought I could do better than this. And I'm going to be honest, I am just absolutely terrified for next week and I am excited to go away. I am excited to step on stage again because trust me, I felt amazing up there. I loved being up there again. I just felt so confident and I'm really, really happy with what my stage look was like. I think I feel more confident in curls than straight hair now. So I am really, really excited to compete again. Obviously, I really, really am, but I'm just really, really scared. And you know, that's fine. It's okay to be scared, but I just need to kind of snap out of those thoughts that I'm not good enough because I am. And I just need to get a grip. But yeah, I'm also really, really tired. We got back yesterday at 3.30. So we got up, I went to bed at half one after show. Um, we got up at five. We went to do an hour of cardio. Then we hopped on the plane. We got back home at half three and we were in the gym at half four. So yesterday was an intense day. Um, slept in a little bit today, but I'm just, I'm still feeling it. So yeah, I knocked out the gym early today and I've, I've just been sat on my laptop working and that's what I'm gonna continue to do over the next um, two hours, I'd say. I'm kind of working through posing inquiries and scheduling posing clients and replying to coaching inquiries. I just announced actually on my Instagram that I am opening spaces for the month of October and November if you are looking to work with me as a coach. Um, feel free to click the link in the description if you do want to apply for my coaching or you can just pop me a message on Instagram and we can book a call to discuss your goals and how I could be of help. So that's what I'm just doing here. I'm just working, keeping myself occupied. The next few days are gonna be very busy. We're flying out again Thursday for the next show and I just have a lot of polls and clients over the next two days. So it's going to be a busy, busy two days after today. But as I said, then we're literally flying out again. Now, ignore me being on my phone. I'm trying to find something. I'm gonna read you uh, the message from my coach actually today because I messaged him, I was, I told him how scared I am for the next show and the feelings that I just shared with you. And as I said, he took he told me to snap out of it right now. <laughs> um, he was like, Marnie took 10 years to turn pro, took eight years to build the pro physique. Like this takes time. I am still a junior. I am 23 years of age. This was only my third NPC show in my life. I have time. And I'm very impatient. I'm naturally very impatient and it doesn't always work in my favor. Um, and then he said, we get to have what we call a successful off season focusing on NPC solely. Cause like PCA has been a big, big focus of ours over the last two years because I've been successful in PCA and we just wanted to have fun with PCA and especially PCA, PCA posing since coaching for PCA posing is a really, really big focus of mine in my um, business. So that's what's coming here for us after this, after this season, after these shows is really, really focusing on building the NPC physique. And then he just kind of mentioned the poses again, just the little tweaks that I need to implement going into the next show. And as I said, the next show is very, very big. We are definitely not going there to win. We're going there to get feedback. We're going there for the experience. And, but that's something I will talk about in the next video when I'm getting ready for that show. 
we'll probably do the same story we did here, a one day out vlog and a show day vlog. So make sure you do stay tuned for that. Um, but I just kind of, yeah, I need a time before coming on here and explaining the day. It was, it was a lot. I'm still very upset. And as I said, I'm just really, really scared for the next show now, which is not the vibes we want to be, we want to be having here. We want to be excited and I will be excited. I know I'll be excited, but this was just a lot. And, but I can't forget how much improvements I've made. Like, as I said, 10 kg leaner going into this show than last year. Coming dead last last year. Now, I still don't know my placing now, but I'm very, very excited to get my stage shots back so I can actually put them together with last year's ones. And then you'll see yourself how much of an improvement I made. And this is what it's about. It's about improving. Improving from season to season, from show to show, from year to year. Beating your previous physiques. And that's what bodybuilding is. My biggest opponent will always be me always to be honest like I don't even know who was beside me on stage because I'm just in my element I am focused on myself and bringing my best without paying too much attention to the other athletes but yeah I think I'm gonna stop rambling here now I have a lot of work yet to get through and I want to get these videos finished so you actually see them on time but yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the show day vlog. I know I did. It's a good vlog, I have to say. I'm literally editing it right now and I'm, I'm just smiling from ear to ear when I'm editing it. It was a great day. It was an amazing day. Um, not the outcome we wanted, but this is bodybuilding and this is life and especially bikini. Bikini is very, very subjective. The judges on the day might just not like your look and it is what it is. So we move on. We forget. We leave the negative vibes behind and we focus on our peak week for the next show. And that is something I'm definitely gonna touch on in the next video is I'm um, doing so many back-to-back -back peak weeks because it's something I've never done before. This is my first time ever doing a back-to-back -back peak week, like show day Saturday and we were back on Sunday morning cardio and peak week protocols for the next show. So it is a little overwhelming, but I am enjoying it. So that's definitely something I'm gonna talk about in the next few videos because I still have two more shows literally weekend to weekend so yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video please do stay tuned for the next one and please don't forget to subscribe and like the videos and it really really means a lot and head over to instagram follow me there and as i said earlier if you are looking to pose with me or you do want to be coached by me make sure you do reach out either through the link or just straight through instagram in my dms so this is it for today I shall see you in the next vlog in a different country. Ciao!